Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to another episode of Dave the Diver here on that's your professional walkthroughs channel with me, your host, Max. So, uh, on the previous episode, a cucumber event has been announced, which means that most likely I will need to go and talk to Otto in order to find out if we can actually get cucumber seeds. On top of it, some sort of person showed up at the end of the service at the restaurant and gave us habanero seeds. So those I already gave to Otto's son in the rotation so he would plant them as it takes a couple of days for them to be processed. And the Otto's son is still working for us, I think. Maybe this day, I will see. But uh, we were able to make quite decent profits at the restaurant lately. And I think mostly that is due to the fact that I have been focusing more on actually serving dishes instead of serving your regular uh, sushi, which just consists of a fish uh, that is on top of some rice. So I will try to continue that and I will try to make sure that maybe I'll come across even one more cookie cutter shark. We were able to reach the brand new region with the Donkleostilus and all these other ancient species or however you pronounce the fish which has like the bony mouth uh, which was sharp like blades and everything. So yeah, Donkleostilus or uh, something like this. But uh, yeah, uh, we have quite a lot of things to do once again, so I will guess I'll head out to the farm and see what can we find out from Otto when it comes to the cucumbers, as I will probably oh, have to not only get cucumbers, but I will also need to get some dishes in relation to the cucumbers themselves, because I don't think just cucumbers in water and cucumbers on top of, of some rice would do the trick. So what do you think? Neat, right? We got a bunch of eggs, we got wheat and tomatoes, and I think in the afternoon the rice will be done growing. And how are we looking? Habaneros, eggplant, garlic, carrots, what is this? I uh, don't the wheat cherry tomato. Why did you plant only one habanero, man? Cherry tomato, garlic, eggplant. I I swear to God, I even put like the habaneros in the first row for him so that he would actually utilize them. But he planted just one. That's just really bad. So the question is, how long will it take now for me to get certain things harvested? And if I'll have enough time to actually plant cucumbers? Maybe I'll have to do the planting myself. Uh, so habaneros have been added to the rotation. I guess I'll have to talk to him. Oh no, can we grow cucumbers in, in your patches? Um, cucumber? Why would anyone want to grow something that tastes that horrible? No. Cucumber does not taste horrible, it has fresh aftertaste. Oh. I don't understand, it's neither nutritious nor delicious. Oh. I do have some cucumber seeds though, if you really want them, I will add them to the list. But was that so hard? Was that so hard? Man, 50 for these suckers. A vegetable originally grown in India it has very high water content. Yeah, I, I, I don't know if I'll... Zero days... This is gonna be tricky because I feel like unless I'm gonna show up in here... I am not sure that this knucklehead is gonna actually plan that specifically, so... If I would manage this, uh, how would I remove something? Okay, so if I just stick with the cucumbers, I see four potential patches in zero days, in zero days, in zero days. 
and then zero days. So I'm guessing those four patches will be able to be planted with cucumber seeds. I'm hoping. If he's gonna screw it up, then I don't know what to tell you. I'm putting a lot of faith in him, so he better not disappoint me. Okay, we're gonna fill this up with the high quality feed. Don't mind splurging on my chickens. And there is the actual uh, egg storage box, which I would be able to afford. The thing is though, it would burn through my entire budget. And I would probably rather not to do that, as I would like to see if I can actually go and upgrade at least the knife or maybe the crab pots. We're receiving a bluefin tuna, treasure shark, the, the titan trigger fish I want for the meals, lobsters, uh, tiger sharks. I really do wonder how this is going to work out when we will have multiple restaurants to supply. But uh, yeah, that's definitely something that I would want to focus on. Uh, I guess I'm going to start giving this little knucklehead the basic uh, feed. And uh, we can work on training our staff even more and the training is getting more and more out of hand 600 and something something but i think it's a worthwhile investment plus they might get some additional perk because otherwise kyoko would not be able to uh serve drinks so he gets a, a master drink maker. The problem is his two perks are either ingredient prep or master drink maker. So I, I guess now I can leave serving of the drinks to those two and I can just make wasabi and clean up the dirty dishes. Bunche, do you have recipes that use cucumbers? Well, I personally don't like cucumbers, but a chef should be able to deal with any food ingredient given. I know a few recipes. Oh, nice. There will be an event hosted by the cucumbers not far from here. That is a strange name for a community. Well, I will prepare several cucumber dishes. Add the dishes to the menu when you have the ingredients ready. Okay, so I definitely have to research these. So that raises the question if I actually do possess the necessary artisanal flames. So, uh, Sea Toad is the first one. Okay. Uh, this one requires spider crab. I'll need to fetch me some spider crab. And this one requires giant trevally and big eye trevally. Wow, okay. Uh, this one I'll go for because I definitely do possess the necessary ingredients with the exclusion of the cucumber now. And uh, if I can get more sea toad, uh, we can definitely do that. This makes it that my dream of getting, for example, dish uh, tuna meal is completely uh, out of reach just really disappointed in my damn self but they're like we all of a sudden got a large quantity of meals that can be processed okay uh why was i not in informed about this thing this is interesting as well they definitely have the coral and the black vinegar we'll need to get more cucumbers probably Problem is the amount of available tiles that will be there for the planting. So it's only four crops, unless I'll be able to harvest even a few more. I don't know what's the time. Okay, hold on. We can actually affect this. Uh, I definitely will want to mess around with what dishes and whatnot I can serve. This, for example, great addition, four meals, awesome stuff, uh, serves a lot of customers, but I would need a lot more green hump pet parrot fish and uh, more turmeric. The turmeric I tend to come across quite frequently, so that's not a problem. I would need more onions to be harvested, but okay, I, I can look after this. Uh, 
not really sure how I feel about this, even though you actually do get quite the ridiculous payout out of this. Man, it would burn through like the entire weed reserve. That's the problem I have. This is why I wanted the Titan Trigger Fish. If I would be able to upgrade this. Yeah, if I get the taste buds up to 200 on some of these dishes, that's absolutely awesome. The problem is how much of rice and everything is being consumed by these upgrades. I would need to dramatically increase the overall output of uh, rice that I'm growing, but after the initial harvest, even though the field is now like fully upgraded, you can still potentially run into trouble, but I think I have an idea here. If, if I would be able to actually purchase the speed grow equivalent of uh, a fertilizer, which they have here in the game, that can potentially lead to me growing the the crops or, or the cucumbers faster. So I might be looking at the one and a half potential harvest that I would be able to work with. That would definitely help me out tremendously in uh, getting a better, like far better uh, deal out of it. As I would be able to provide more meals that way so we need uh we need cookie cutter okay hold on let's take a look at the ingredients because this is quite a lot uh so first things first i have only one cookie cutter that's not enough uh the next thing which i'll need to get my hands on is a few more things uh so the crab that would be nice if I would be able to get that crap. I also would have to ensure a perfect service in order to get five flames in order to research the next recipe. If I would be able to get the spider crab, and these are tricky ones because you have to always throw the damn stone on top of them so I can never ensure like a better quality. Unless there is some sort of way of catching these by, for example, using the crab pods or something, which I'm not yet aware of, so that's a big question. So that would be one ingredient that I'm looking for. Okay. That can be manageable. Next thing which I'll have to look for is my cookie cutter. Because I would have only one which... Uh, can be tricky because this knucklehead is uh, difficult to find. I would need the uh, hump hat. So this one will need to be found as well. This one will need to be found as well. And this one is usually by the entrance to the uh, village of the sea people. Now the problem is going to be a uh, capturing cookie cutter shark will require something different than a net, so a gun. But the other fish will require me to possess actually the damn uh, gun itself. So I'm trying to figure out what would be the optimal solution here. And I need to capture more of these knuckleheads. Uh, for these, all I need is the fishing net, so that will be not that much of a problem. I'll just need to venture into that specific region. Hmm. This raises a few questions, because I also have to go and deal with the third switch in order to unlock the access to the device which is controlling the whole heat situation, which is causing the tremors for the underwater village. Lots of things to consider, holy fudge. It'd be nice if I would come across some more mayonnaise, but that usually is not that much of a trouble. Turmeric is usually also easily acquired. But I'll definitely have to look into... Some of these things only provide you with one dish. But if you take a look at, for example, the bean and you see like five dishes, then quite clear that 
And why is only like Tiger Shark Sushi a thing? Why isn't there more things that I would be able to like do with the Tiger Shark? And if I would be able to like order these things by, I don't know, the species that they are or something, that would be also quite appreciated from me as it would make it slightly easier uh, to navigate through this so I know where is what. Pacific fanfish, I'm interested if that can actually be utilized in more meals. Uh, seafood. This is gonna be slightly easier. Pacific fanfish is only in the sushi. That's just most unfortunate because it yields a really decent uh, amount of money for you. Considering the fact that it's uh, just like one species. I would need a whole lot more Pacific fanfish. But we're getting close to like level 10. But yeah, I would get a ridiculous amount of uh, money and the taste would be also quite nice. At a certain point, I just don't think it's even then worth it to upgrade certain dishes because they just don't compare to the other ones. Okay, this is gonna make it tricky. I think I will have to take the net gun. Or actually, I will have to take the rifle. I will have to take the rifle. Uh, I diver. I can upgrade either the knife or the crab crab. Damage of 17 is quite decent. I don't know if this would allow me to mine the resources using only the knife, though. Number of deployments, three. But you always need to have something that you put inside in order to capture the crab. I think I'll go with the knife upgrade this time. Uh, so I have the gun equipped, the knife has damage output of 17. I'm gonna have to test that one out. Uh, if we look at upgrades for these things. But even though like I really, really don't use them. Red sniper rifle. Fragments, not enough. I need one more. Uh, cuttlefish skin. Dairy puffer fish poison. We have that. Home jelly electric. Spotted jellyfish. These other things we do possess, but eh, I just don't really know if I want to mess around with that. And... Uh, I don't know if I want to get like these various uh, elemental damage upgrades for the rifles. That's a big, big if. But we have, we can go for death rifle. Opal tube. I don't know if I would need to purchase that at the actual uh, merchant in the Sea People Village. I think I might have to. Uh, gun enhancement kit. They're even giving me the steel net sensor. Let's go for them. Oh crap, I want to the farm, the farm. I want to go to the farm first. Reason why I want to go here first is to check one thing. The speed grow. Harvest up. A fertilizer that increases the yield of plants. The effect of fertilizer lasts. No. Growth fertilizer. A fertilizer that accelerates plant growth. The effect of fertilizer lasts a day. And you can use only one kind of fertilizer at a time. 
Okay, let's uh, equip this to this knucklehead. Nutrient fast grow. Wait, why don't I have the damn growth fertilizer? Wait, so this is the thing which speeds up the growth, no? Accelerates plants growth. Do I know which one is in use currently? I don't probably. Okay, so we'll focus definitely on the growth fertilizer. And the... Uh, I don't know how to get rid of this. So these two are currently what I equip for him. In a day, in a day. We do, do have like three days to get this done. That's gonna be interesting to find out. But okay, uh, so I'll have to get a bunch of fish. The steel net I want to use in case there's gonna be tuna. As it's raining, I'm assuming I'll be able to figure this one out. R rarely easily. Uh, rarely. Uh, fairly easily. Okay, there goes that 15th component, which I did so desperately. So this raises the question of what I'll try to focus on when it comes to capturing... Uh, certain fish for the menu and also depending on what ingredients I'll be coming across if you're gonna keep giving me basic cat food then I'll be a little bit more worried about my options I'm not really interested in triggering whatever the heck is down there uh, there is a crab location in here Wow, okay, so just like that, we have already a bunch of upgrades. But it would be actually worth it if I would put some sort of high quality resource in the actual crab pot because I'm assuming. Look at you here, this is what we need. Uh, I'm assuming that if my aim will not improve, I will not be able to catch for anything. No, but if, if I'll be able to put in this knucklehead, for example, inside, I'll be able to get a far better fish than if I would put in Finding Dory or something like that. Uh, but I don't know if I want to put down a crab pot uh, in here. If I go into the deeper water, probably better chance of coming across like the blue lobster or something of such nature. Uh, and I'll have to look for opportunity to utilize the steel net, although the uh, question is, what would I use it for? Okay, so... So far so good, I might get the shark head that I did get. These little shits are the worst thing ever. why they get triggered but oh, they're really pissing me off I swear I'll use the ammunition for these knuckleheads if I have to but it's a waste of ammo but I cannot keep getting interrupted while trying to harvest the organs here I can definitely try to slice these little shits. Sure as hell, they do deserve it. 
All I'm trying to do is get some oxygen in here. Okay, let's get me some of this. The cookie cutter, I'll definitely have to look for that and for some of the other species which I mentioned. The, the problem which I have with the spider crab is going to be definitely the fact that I'm have to, like, uh, throw the damn stone on top of its head in order to crush it. So, so far there's, like, not a better means for me to get this done. Which would probably mean that even if I would bring the spider crabs uh, to the actual uh, fish... Uh, sanctuary or the fish farm which i have the chances are they they still might not give me a good quality so that's something which i have to consider as well and i could have sworn i heard some sort of whooshing noise which to me would indicate that that might actually mean uh tuna or something it is a rainy day at the end of the day so my hopes are all over the place. The damn treasure shark I don't want to deal with because it's just annoying. But I definitely hear something whooshing and swooshing. These little shits I don't want to deal with. So I'll try to bypass them and the treasure. Although he's like practically going in here. Worst case scenario, I'll just get here and just start slicing. And now I have to like literally drop a crap ton of these little shits. Man, that's a lot of them. That is actually so much that I'm gonna actually see the difference. So I was able to get all the fish that I required, which is great. Uh, I wouldn't have any sort of benefit from this one. Marine eel, I would need to go night diving. I haven't gone night diving in a while. When the hell did I pick up another one of these? Or was it like some sort of delayed... Notification. Yeah, I'm not sure here. I'm gonna have to figure out what to use the damn steel trap for. There goes that turmeric which I so desperately require in order to make upgrade on one of those dishes to get them to that higher uh, level. I'll grab any piece of this I can come across. I still have plenty of ammunition. Worst case scenario, I can actually kill the barracuda and utilize its meat in order to actually put it into the crab pots. So I will benefit from having that in my inventory. It's like the only reason why I would probably keep it now. There's another turmeric. Yeah, turmeric is quite easy to obtain. If you scavenge the waters uh, enough, you will come across the resources which you require. So you should not be worried. And later in the game, when you have like a larger oxygen tank and all this jazz, there should not be a reason for you to not be capable of getting the resources that you so desperately require. But just at the start of the game, will set you up with the fact that you have small air capacity and you are not able to hold as many items. So that will definitely affect the choices which you are gonna make. Whoa, did not expect that one. Oh crap, I thought that this one is actually out. We have to stop at the Sea People Village in order to see which of the crops have been, like, doing well and which have reached maturity. 
Okay, one shot. Wow, okay. Right now I can hold on to some of these fish and worst case scenario, I'll get rid of them when I find out that I don't have space for something better. This is the first time I'm seeing a tennis racket. This is the first time I'm seeing a tennis racket. Okay, we're gonna install this one over here and uh, wanted to put the Barracuda in there. I think I have plenty of sea grapes and I'll have to focus uh, the attention of what I'm growing at the Sea People Village towards the glacial uh, coral or glacial species. Yeah, I definitely don't want that. I could directly go over here, pick up the oxygen. Worst case scenario, I'll be able to sell at least these raw minerals out of the shop and pick up the opal piece that is requested of me. Because I have honestly zero idea where I would come across that. I don't think that's something that you can just scavenge. Okay, I'll take the California crabs. Could have sworn there was somewhere a scooter left behind, but I think that was higher. So that's okay. This knucklehead I do not really need, so I don't give a rat's ass. That Big Trevally, though, is the more tempting thing for me. That thing takes a few shots, even. That's gonna be funny if the Big Trevally is gonna take more shots than the shark. You can't make this up. I don't really want this knucklehead, so I guess I'll leave it behind. It was just obstructing me from harvesting what I was looking for. I would normally not kill anything that would not bring any sort of value to me. Why? It's just a waste. That creature is a part of the actual biome, so it does bring some sort of value. We're at 57, so one, one third of our carry capacity. This out. Boxing gloves? I think I saw boxing gloves. It's still better than the stupid rubber chicken. Okay, some sort of ingredient. Problem is, I don't recall what was the other fish compared to the big trevally which I need. And I don't know if the steel net would actually be willing to take the shark. If I can get this knucklehead somewhere. other fish it'll be nice I'm guessing the added ammo and oxygen is here just purely because of the damn tiger but then again I would probably rather prefer to save up this for the uh, ancient species to see if actually they can be caught using that It's gonna be trouble with this knucklehead over here, huh? Thing is, I really don't want to deal with the damn tiger. But right now, as I do not have rounds, which are actually beneath him, I have to utilize these sort of tactics to get what I'm looking here for. 
Oh, he's distracted. I want to even take a look around up here. Maybe there's some sort of ingredient. Might want to look inside. Uh, since it's raining, there might be sailfish. And I already know that the sailfish cannot be caught using the steel net trap. So question is, what, what's like the size of a species that still is uh, possible to be considered for this steel trap and what is beyond its capacity? All I want is the damn ammo box. Some sort of better harpoon attachment would be also appreciated. All I want to see if there's actually sailfish. I don't really care about the hammerhead because I already caught a few of them. I'll take the soy sauce anytime. Anytime. Soy sauce is awesome. Hard to come by. So if you give me the option for it, I'll go for it. Yeah, I just wanted to make sure that I would dodge the hammerhead. While it's overly aggressive, the barracuda is not gonna follow through. Uh, these little knuckleheads you can only get by dropping those stones on top of them. But if I'll get the spider crabs... The problem is there's usually not that many of them and you have to swim around quite vigorously in order to find them. Because the lower section of the ocean, where it's dark and you need to have the flashlight, it's actually separated into multiple sections, and they're not all accessible through the same spot, which causes you to have to travel back and forth, back and forth through those tiny, tiny tunnels where those damn barnacles are located. Which can make it that much more difficult. This tiger is quite persistent. But then again, tigers are well known for the fact that they will eat just about anything. Okay, I'll definitely take on the spare oxygen tank. I have to probably throw this on this knucklehead. Okay, you have completely ruined my plan here, mister. That was not my target. So the question is if I'll be able to come across a cookie cutter and those spider crabs. About two rounds, huh? Pacific fanfish, I do have, so it's better for me to just wait for the ones of the highest quality at the fish tank to reproduce. And now the big question, if the knife can actually harvest this. Nice. This still raises the question if I'll actually need to get... Now I don't need the pickaxe. I, I definitely want to hold on to the knife because I want to test out if it will be able to harvest the resources in the glacial passage. Or if I'll still need another upgrade for the knife so that it has enough damage output so that I can actually harvest the resources in that specific region. You know what, let's just replenish our oxygen here. Don't need to go here. Took a photo of all the murals, so that achievement is done. And so apparently there was like a big hubbub about the Dave the Diver. Due to the fact that apparently it's backed up by some larger company, so it should not be considered an indie game. I, I don't know about this, but to be honest, if, if a larger company finances a studio to put out a title of such quality, I don't care. Uh, should it be then considered an indie title? Yes, that's, that's a decent question. But honestly, would an indie studio be then able to afford a budget for a project of such a scale? 
and would the results be the same or would they have to gradually uh, publish the actual updates to the game which would potentially cheapen the overall experience because uh, something that you would come across at the end would not be at the start or, or during the uh, playthrough and I'm like what, 50 hours in or something and I still have new stuff to discover and new content to deal with so I've seen someone try to do like I've done a full playthrough of this game blah 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 and honestly I've checked a portion of it so that I wouldn't have a section of the video spoiled and I can honestly tell you uh, I, I, I don't think that enough has been showcased in that video there's just so much more that needs to be shown Okay, this is the knucklehead that I'm looking for. This is the stupid uh, attachment to the spear gun that I need to keep spinning the damn mouse in a certain direction. I don't like the toxic attachment or the poisonous attachment. This is not the cookie, sh uh, cookie cutter. This is the frill shark. And we have those. Unfortunately, I don't think I have the cookie cutters at the fish tanks in quantity where they can reproduce. I was hoping for a weapon upgrade here. I'm sticking around just for the crap pot to do its thing. Once that's done, I'll be able to move on. I'll definitely have to throw out some of the fish which I have caught because some of the jellyfish and some of the other crab got in and I don't really need that stuff. Okay! Various qualities, but I'll take it. There were some perfect ones, so that's nice. would I find the damn cookie cutter though? Because I feel like I'm getting too deep. Uh, this is the boneyard. This is where usually the crab is located. At least one tends to be around this location all the damn time. So this is the problem which I have. The, the quality of this sucker. It's always heavily reduced due to the fact that I'm throwing down the actual stone on top of it. Maybe in this location, this is the ghost shark and I'm looking for the cookie cutter. This one will leave you alone as long as you don't mess around with it, but just don't touch it uh, because it's still poisonous. I need to get this one. I got a little bit too far. Okay, there we go. Why would you put ingredients right next to an entry to whatever this is? It's a curry block, but I'll take it. You never know when you might need it. It's better to have a crazy amount of certain resource or ingredient for dishes because at the start you might not be able to utilize it for anything but eventually you might have such a large variety of meals that you have researched but you will find out that suddenly the curry block can be utilized for like three meals or something and that's quite the game changer. But yeah, I, I have to say, the, despite like the fact that people are a little bit upset about the whole situation with the game being like funded by a larger company, I have to say that after Resident Evil 4 and Alan Wake 2, the, this is one of the best experiences I have had gaming this year. Uh, you, you would assume that something like Starfield would have better story, but it's still Bethesda title. So unfortunately, that did not really work out the way I was hoping. 
but I'm at least gonna try to cover the rest of the main story and see how that goes. But I'm looking still for my cookie cutter. There we go. There you are, you little knucklehead, you. Okay, I'll have to start looking into dumping some of my inventory. What is this? Is that diamond? Wow, these are super rare to uh, usually spawn in, so... That's great. That is actually great. I'll have to try and get the third one, which is over there. I just want to dump the damn rock on top of this knucklehead. I'll take the attachment. Uh, more damage output. Uh, I think I accidentally picked up the damn fish. I just want to see what's in here. Might be something useful. So I'll definitely want to try to utilize the steel nets on the uh, Arctic region. I think a narwhal would be still in that range where it would be able to be caught by the damn thing, but I might be completely wrong. So don't quote me on that. And here goes my second one. I'm just looking for a stone to drop on top of him. But yeah, I'll have to definitely drop some of the inventory that I have accumulated. And I'm trying to build up some sort of reserve of some of these ingredients just so that I have the spares. Or I have the ingredients for some of the dishes because they were required for uh, either... Uh, the meals that were required for the uh what you call it the actual uh cucumber dishes or just for something else so now we're back at 114 still have the net traps still have uh three drones so they can reel in a bunch of stuff double i still have no clue what to use for This is the one I want. It's just that my aim would have to be better, and I don't want to get hit by this knucklehead. Really, I thought that would have like made the job like it's done. Five kilos. Does not seem so big, right, for such a small fish? I'm not gonna mess too much with the oxygen right now. The main reason why uh, we're literally next to the entry to the Sea People Village. So what I'll need to check there is the current status of uh, which crops are done growing, uh, which ones will still require some more uh, time. But I'll definitely try to plant uh, the actual Arctic species so that I can build up the reserve for them. I'll probably skip through most of the second dive, or I can uh, just uh, utilize the second dive to go and deal with that location where we're supposed to go. So that's also a decent option. Now that I think about it, but I definitely want to go to the Arctic. Uh, just because I have the steel net, just because I have the drones still to pull out, whatever there might be and i want to test out if i can catch like the dunkleosius or the other species with the steel net so and i want to check if i can actually purchase the opal 2 in order to get the best uh, version of the rifle that i currently do have equipped so even if that means that i'll go in here and i would sell your coughing has not stopped. It hasn't, but the steamed horsehair crab made me feel a lot better. Still, I may have overdone it. it. Must have been the crab working its magic on me. You haven't completed recovery yet. You need to take care of yourself. Thanks. I will. Uh, workshop. So, this is the Opal 2, which I do require. And 
and that cost me quite a large amount of stuff. I don't have ice diamonds, but I have things which I just might be able to sell to you. So, uh, was able to get some of these. Was able to get some of these. I don't really want to sell you the diamonds. Was it iron ore or something else? Definitely picked up some lead. Not sure if I picked up this. I need to hold on to topaz because that's exactly the quantity that I do require. Definitely have picked up one of these so I could sell that. You know, you would assume that for a goldfish statue you would get a whole lot more money. Maybe on the surface I would be able to, but the jade fish statue gives me 300. So, question is if these things can be sold on the surface to Cobra, and how much would I be able to yield that way? But okay, now I have the opal tube, now I have to make sure that I won't get my lights knocked out. I've been able to pick up the giant trevallies and the uh, humphead parrotfish three of those so that's gonna yield some decent quantity of meat so that i can use them for upgrades of certain meals but now the risk is serious because if i would go down it will be quite unfortunate it seems like only one was ready black coral black coral i have planted one I think I'll go with another black coral. Uh, majority of them are gonna be all done at the same time. So at least that's nice. Um, don't really see more seeds. And I can go theoretically and check with the seed seller if I'll be able to upgrade the seeds for even higher quality. But if I want to make more money here, I'll need to pick up some commissions. But unfortunately, there's no request right now. I'm not really sure if the higher level will yield me like more crops per harvest or what's the deal. It's just that, for example, the seeds from auto are not upgraded. So you have to utilize like the fertilizer or something in order to get the results that you're looking for. So yeah, we, we can like even further upgrade these. Extra harvests is what we get. Oh, so it's like researching, so it's still taking its time. Okay, so I'll have to wait for that to be done. Okay, okay. Um, so I'll take the mirror to the glacial zone so that we can start to hunt for those um, ancient species. I will probably go to that specific location in the afternoon in order to make sure that I don't lose the resources that I have with me because that would be just the most unfortunate thing that can happen. And I also want to test out if the knife can actually do the job and mine out the, res the resources here. Make my day. Okay, that was just awesome. So Narwhal, as I assumed correctly, is uh, the size. Oh, awesome. So the knife can already do the job. Uh, I'll take the seahorse, just because these ones are the ones that can yield a pretty decent uh, speed boost uh, during the races. Another turmeric, awesome. Usually I tend to find mayonnaise in here. I'll just have to look around. I honestly am considering you, buddy. But then again, I'm dealing with the same issue. The issue is that the quality of the meat is just never so great. But I, I don't know if you can capture this knucklehead through the actual crab pots. That's the thing, I have not came across 
I would have to experiment on this and I would have to invest into the crab bot specifically so I have more charges and in the depth in which the spider crabs are located if I can actually capture them by utilizing the crab bots. But even for the crab bots, I require still a decent bait. Because I'm, I'm, I just don't want to believe that if I would throw in whatever, I'm going to get the result that I'm looking for. So that's still something that I have to take into consideration. Now the question is, what other thing would be large enough to actually fit into the steel trap? I think that the weird dragon-like looking uh, dinosaur might be just the right size. I think Dunkleosius is the size of like the tiger shark. And I know for a fact that like if you try to put just sailfish or hammerhead into that net, it will break. So that alone should tell me that certain species are just not gonna be willing to fit in and play nice. So I'll have to look for some sort of alternative. And these fish just mix and blend into the environment so well. Okay, mayo. What did I tell you? You usually come across at least one mayo in this region. Okay, the aquamarine here has the weird effect where I can actually get caught in like frost. So I have to be careful when I'm trying to mine it. Black pepper. I'll take whatever food ingredient you have for me. I'm really uh, happy that I went for the actual knife upgrade. Definitely was the right choice. Even, I, I still think that the actual crap pot uh, upgrade would be beneficial as well, don't get me wrong on that. So around here is usually where the green shark hands, hangs out, but I'm not interested in him right now. I'm interested in finding these little knuckleheads. I don't have any more crap pots, so I cannot really do anything about that, but if I capture enough of these, that's something that I'll be able to cram into the actual dish with the cucumbers. And that is something that I do care about. Because there's especially so many of them, that's so nice. A jade plate. Salt. Definitely want these little critter, uh, critters. Definitely, definitely. So the knife upgrade was absolutely the right choice here. I do have the ammo for the rifle right now, so I don't need that. I'll take the oyster. Or shell. And I want to try out the green one. It tends to be somewhere around here, but also the Dunkleosius tends to be around here. So I gotta be careful. I, I just don't... Yeah, so the, the problem with this one is the fact that I need to aim for the belly. If I hit the head because it's made completely out of bone... I need to hit either the tail. This entire belly section is the weak point. I think that might have been like a critical hit. Beautiful. Because he decided to give up on the fight. There it goes. Okay, I need to reel this knucklehead in. I used up the throng consumable. Let's see. All right, that worked. Awesome. Now I'll have to go fetch me that actual oxygen tank, which was somewhere around there. And this fish was also kind of tricky to come across. I'm not sure if I'll be able to reel this sucker in. This many hits by the harpoon would make 
make the damn thing look like uh, freaking Swiss cheese. That'd be just way too many holes in it. Somewhere in here, I left the oxygen tank, no? I now don't have any of the consumables, so I, it's an open season, but I swear to God, I think one was here. Yep, yeah, I'll take it. Just to be on the safe side, because I can sustain a lot of damage all of a sudden, and that would be just most unfortunate. We got another Donkleosteus, we got one of the green ones, the... Uh, I'm not gonna try to pronounce its name. If I would know how to pronounce it, then I would not be so much afraid of it, but... Let's see if I can come across at least a few more of those annoying shrimpies. Because they are used in that dish with the cucumber. So theoretically, even like uh, preserving weed or something, I'm gonna have to look up specifically what ingredients are gonna be necessary for me to make most of those cucumber dishes in order to stockpile on those uh, specific ingredients. The, the crops are going to be the biggest problem because they are the most out of my uh, control. This one is predatory, so it's going to try to attack me. But I think I can capture it. Seriously, Swiss cheese, anyone? This one too can be tricky, but because there's like multiple dishes for uh, this one to be used in, I really don't want to leave uh, my options open. I want to make sure that I have enough of these knuckleheads. Down there is the entry to that location. I think I cleared out most of the ancient species. Let's get this knucklehead out. I think this might get me over the point of carrying capacity. I definitely want to come across more of those starfish. I I don't think I saw more of them in here. Okay, th there's a Greenland shark. That's that annoying octopus. Lobster location above me is the shark. I unfortunately do not possess enough carry capacity i would be able to like cram in one of the fillets but that would mean that i would no longer be able to carry anything else i'm already over -cumbered. so i can try just to peek over here if there's something that i can take This is great. Let's uh, head back. Uh, I go to the sea people because I grab a bunch of seahorses, which I can register. I'm really hoping they're gonna give me some sort of assignments here soon enough on the bulletin board. That way I might be actually able to pick up more money because right now the primary way I would be able to make money, which is really not that much, is by me going to the shop and just selling some of these resources that I come across and the, in the greater scheme of things, it's just not the most productive thing at the end of the day, but some of these things are actually making me quite happy. Uh, the reason why I'm holding on to the jellyfish, I think I need some of them. I'm not sure right now. I know that for a fact I'll be able to do one of the commissions for the app on my phone, uh, which is that the Society Gizmo. But we will see. We will see. I'll have to take a look at those... Uh, 
that those actual... Okay, so some of these have actually quite amazing stats, but... I don't know where to get them more. Like, the majority of these knuckleheads are the Weedy Sea Dragon, but I need the Leafy Sea Dragon. If I could sell these, that would be awesome. And the, the, the Team 2... Oh wow, I have to put in like four? What? Okay, I have no clue how this is gonna honestly work. But I wanna ensure that I'll get the upper hand here. I don't know if, I'll, if this is like stages that you come to a certain point and at that point you switch to another force. Oh crap. I, okay, that was awkward. So I have to make sure that I, in the right time, go and swap out another seahorse. Interesting. But okay, I'll be able to make some money here. What do you mean bad? Oh, I need to, like, hold it? This is something which I don't appreciate about the game, that when it comes to these new mechanics, you don't get some sort of intro, and so you will end up struggling. No clue. No clue. I think we should definitely ensure first place. over a minute. The problem is the small reward which you get. And the fact that you are like utilizing your horses and their stats are getting just worse by doing so. Guess I can put in the zebras. Two zebras and the uh, see how this is gonna work out. Here I'll have to slide beneath the pucker fish. I'm guessing there's gonna be a lot of sliding and a lot of jumping. And while you're up in the air, you're just slow, slow moving more slowly then okay hold on I'm starting to like realize what might be the way when to swap out to the other seahorse. So there's like a line which moves around. And if you click the mouse at the right time, you just might be able to do it. Okay, okay. Seriously, like, different variations. I 
I don't want to really go into these four. So let's try this one. I may be able to at least make some money in here. And because I don't have to worry about jumping and stuff, I should be able to figure out how to swap in the most efficient way. And once the swap happens, I'll have to start spamming space too early. Still quite far away from the rest. Okay, don't screw it on this side. Nice swap, nice swap. I have no clue how I managed a perfect swap on the previous one though. Definitely a nice way for me to make some money. But I seriously need to find more of those super leafy seahorses. Did anyone manage to notice how much of a reward that was? I did not. Ah, it doesn't matter. Okay. So managed to deal with all of this. Man, I think I've actually made almost like 300 bay here. There's no fertilizer to be used down here, so that's most unfortunate. But I think we will still manage. So I'll go to the surface. I'll definitely have to harvest the rice. This then has to be followed by me checking in on Auto Sun and seeing what other crops can be potentially uh, planted. I'm really hoping he's gonna plant those cucumbers and what other crops I will require for the cucumber dishes. And in the afternoon, I don't know, I can try to look for like more cookie cutter, more of those spider crabs. I'm not sure right now, I think I went a little overboard with my spending and I might not be able to afford the final upgrade for the death rifle. So we'll have to take a look at it and I need to find out how to get another one of these knuckleheads. Gets us there, discipline, and some food. I think he's gonna need two. No? Okay, he's happy. Uh, so the weapon shop. This is what I'm looking at. This is what I need, and yeah, I'm missing some money. But I have the mantis shrimp tail, and I do have the opal tube, so... That is now out of my actual, uh, what you call it? Uh, that is out of my in inventory, so I'm not affected by that. I can deliver these. And I still need to hunt, like, one more. And I need the barrel jellyfish. And I have no clue where to find a ruby. I'll have to check those hydrothermal somethings. Let's take a look at the farm. Oh yeah, tonight we have VIP, so I definitely cannot go nighttime diving. So we have rice, 56, wheat, 5, cherry tomato, 8, beans, eggs, and garlic. Awesome stuff. Awesome stuff. Uh, cucumber, 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 cucumber. Cucumber, cucumber. Awesome. So enough cucumber has been planted in two days time. Ooh, uh, oh, that means one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five, six. 
six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, great. So I can go and put the rest of these back to... I keep forgetting people's name here. Oh, manage. Now we can add in... Habaneras, eggplants, and the rest of these knuckleheads. And... I still think I want to keep this fertilizer in here for the time being. But this should have definitely helped me out with the potential of managing the uh, uh, managing the what you call it uh, the crops for the meals. The thing now which I'll need to investigate is the cucumber dishes. So over here. Yeah, I was able to pick up lots of uh, the shrimp. I have black coral and I have this, so definitely will be getting this one. I'll just need to get a perfect artisanal flame result tonight in order to do that. Spider crabs, need more of those. The problem is you get one serving. Here you get five servings, so... But okay, those are two cucumber dishes. I could swore there were more of them. Bean gelatinous snailfish. I'll have to look for that one. But I have the beans, the cherry tomatoes. Uh, definitely have the shrimps. Have the wheat and the olive oil. Grade A egg. Okay. Crystal lobster. No clue where to find that. I'm gonna guess it's gonna be in the Arctic region. Sally Lightfoot Crab, these are the jumping ones. They are quite annoying. Seven servings though per meal is not bad. Not bad. Blobfish. Rock lobster, kelp, and eggs. Absolutely. Anglerfish. I don't have enough of these, and they're still growing at the actual uh, farm. It's gonna take a while for that large harvest. Atlantic beneath, though, I'll have to look into that one. So most of the ingredients I do have. Now the problem is getting the cucumbers. I think I'll go primarily for this one, just because there's five servings. Here is just one. But I have to make sure that I will get a perfect service. And on top of it, we have the VIP, which by itself can be quite tricky. So, uh, what I'll try to do now, go for another dive, try to get some of those species. And uh, uh, we will probably go to the Arctic region afterwards so that I can go into that vent and activate it and see what's gonna happen. Or maybe I should hold on to that for the next day so I don't do it when it's VIP. I think that makes a little bit more sense. Yeah, I think I'll stick with that plan. Um, unfortunately, I don't have that money. Theoretically, theoretically if I would go to the fish farm, sure if, if at this point there are enough fish reproduced at these tanks for me to sell i think i'll have to wait until the next day yeah because i have shipped a large quantity of fish already as is so i don't think nothing's gonna be happening now okay okay so i'll do the dive uh and we will skip to the VIP. I'll try to get my hands on some fancy stuff. And I'll talk to you in a couple of moments.
I jump in and it immediately gives me the fried egg jellyfish which I was looking for. So I should be able to complete one of those quests, I guess. I'll see. Whoa, that's new. So one thing which happened while I was here is getting the achievement for finding all the potential weapons. And so I think since I found the two rubies and have caught the 25 species of the ancient fish that can be found here, along with the Dunkleosius, I'll be able to complete like two additional commissions. And if the actual jellyfish which I was able to pick up at the start, which is the one that I was looking for. That might be actually equal for three commissions for the application. I'm not really sure if that's gonna get me to the next stage, but I sure hope it will. Sure hope it will, because that way I will be closer to another potential reward. I still have the opportunity to use a drone, so I'll be able to still carry around a few more things. The one weird thing is that this time I did not see the green dragon-like uh, creature in here. Only Donkey Osteus was here. I'm really sorry if I'm mispronouncing the name. I can definitely reel in this sucker. Since I've actually picked up few upgrades for the damage output. One round of this rifle. Now that's over 100 points oh, bless you, uh, of damage. So that's fun. But yeah, I'll definitely hold on to the actual um, third uh, temple for the next episode because tonight we have the VIP and I kind of don't want to mix those two events together. So that will potentially allow me to then uh, have multiple specialized events for each episode even though people don't watch it may maybe eventually in a few years uh, people are gonna get some kick and return to it I mean I, I never know what's gonna happen and like even now people are checking out my older stuff which I published during God knows when so it's it's worthwhile investing into having various types of playthroughs and everything on the channel so what the hell do i know right we're gonna go to the boat and we're gonna have that vip event i'm really looking forward towards that and there goes our sticky bomb gun so all of those weapons are done the rubies have been picked up and yeah, the fried egg jellyfish is the one which I was looking for. I was even able to pick up some cookie cutter. I should be a-okay. I really will want to invest into more of the crab pods. I was able to actually come across three pieces of salt, turmeric, black pepper, some high quality uh, cat food, sesame seed miso, two soy sauces, which is absolutely awesome. And I got a bunch of row to work with. <laughs> So we're definitely gonna have to go and serve our guests. But okay, if I go to the eco watcher, okay, I'm so fried egg jellyfish. I have ten of them now, but I don't have barrel jellyfish, so I'll have to look for that one. Awesome. How close am I? Oh my god, this is seeking way too much. I'll need to pick up the damn jellyfish. Uh, in order for us to rank up though we still need actually i cross checked the recipes i still need a crap ton of followers but maybe by defeating the actual guest who's showing up tonight we might get more followers you're sleeping why are you bugging me then um not gonna be able to do much at the farm We'll deal with the fish uh, afterwards, so let's go to the sushi. I'll have to still set up my menu for tonight's service, but the VIP is the big thing tonight.
Okay, I'll have to remember to edit that out. Nobody needs to hear me blow my nose. But, yay. Hello everyone, this is Yui from NDC Station. Ladies and gentlemen, as you know, today is the day of the final clash and challenge of the chef. What? Bancho, are you ready? Yes. How about you, Alex? Ready, my fingers are uncontrollably wiggling. Excellent, then let's begin challenge the chef now. Again, Bancho is the dragon. And Challenger is the tiger. Okay, so cut the kill. Okay, SD, SD, SD. Okay, this was perfect. We have to go for a good score, otherwise I will uh, not have enough points to defeat the knucklehead. Uh... Okay. Whoa, that's a lot of onions that I have to deal with. We're getting close to the halfway point. Okay, perfect, still. If you reach the halfway point, that's when it's no longer perfect score. S, 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 S. Okay. Still perfect score, despite few pickups. Okay, this is gonna be annoying one. Uh, come on, come on. Depending on how many times I'll have to do this, I'm trying to do like the motion of the ocean. But it's all over the damn place. Holy crap, the cookie cutter is so small. Okay, I managed to do that one. Need to fry the fish. But one of them is not exactly a fish. Okay, pretty much got pretty amazing results on those. That dude literally served fish and chips. Seriously? How original. Why is the cat there? Nice! Nice, 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 nice. 99 score! <laughs> yeah, boy! Nice. Nice, nice, nice. What? Alex, fish and chips lost? What an upset. My fries are the best in the world. Yes, your fish and chips indeed taste excellent. Incredibly actual. But what is the theme of the contest? The theme? It's fried dishes. Not quite right. The theme for the content was fried the sea. Masterfully fried cod is good on its own, but that alone does not represent the sea. However, Banjo's dish was... What kind of soy sauce did you use? I added chopped green lever and added it into normal soy sauce, as I expected. I like your shark and sweet combination, but the highlight was your soy sauce recipe. Whoa. The soy sauce enriched with the flavor of the sea better represented the taste of the sea. What an impressive flavor. Whoa. Your dish gave me a feeling of exploring the sea. From the coastal waters in the deep sea, that was a fabulous adventure. The adventure of your fried dish was good as well, but the game cha uh, uh, changer was the soy sauce. Alas. My perfect fries were not enough to satisfy the judges. It was a close match. Let us hear what Bancho has to say. 
You need to be careful when making the soy sauce. That's... Thank you, Bancho. The champion preferred action over words, and we love it. And it's time to wrap up today's episode of Challenge the Chef Today. Bancho won the contest. This is... Wait a moment. I'm pleased by today's contest, and I would like to give him a piece of advice. You, I see your menu is expanding, but the drinks you offer stay the same, yes? Because I am a chef, not a bar. Come on. You see the same thing before. Dining is a comprehensive experience. What do you pair up with your pasta? A glass of wine, a glass of cola, or just a glass of water? It will significantly change the dining experience. Your place cannot satisfy the various teas of customers with a limited selection of drinks. That's true, we have tea. And eventually after defeating another VIP, we were granted the addition of having beer. But that was again from Vincent, so maybe we're gonna get to sake or something. This is my gift for you. It's a cocktail dispenser. Mmm, cocktails. They don't go well with sushi. Though. Oh please, not even cocktail is sweet. You can make interesting cocktails using sake as a base. Well, of course, you are not in charge of drinks. That hungry looking guy. Hey, it's you. Me? I will leave this cocktail dispenser here. You will find out how best to use it. Oh, a gift from Vincent. A cocktail dispenser. Bancho Sushi will offer more menu items soon. And we can't wait to see what will be added to its menu. See you next time. This was your reporter, Yui. Oh, don't cry, man. Seriously, I, I like three points. Three points. That's so close. Mm. Cocktails. Mm -hmm. This dispenser is designed to serve three different cocktails at the same time. Well, I'm not familiar with cocktails, but come to think of it, it's like a drink version of omasa omakase. Yeah, that makes sense. It's our job to serve the drinks customer wants. Why don't we make more money by adding cocktails to the menu? Speaking of menu, I will need to set up the menu for tonight. The question is if these guys will be able to actually serve cocktails as well. From now on, customers will begin to order cocktails. Serve cocktails as requested in the right order. Ooh. My god, this thing looks like a freaking 3D printer. Okay. Uh, so we have to do the service. Cocktail is for 80? God damn! Okay, that's pretty damn impressive. Uh, this thing alone is actually quite decent looking. I can enhance the dish, but then I would be left without any portions to serve, which would just suck so badly. If I give you this... This is four portions. The... Thing which I'm looking for is the taste factor. This is three. Should have maybe gone for a few more. But this is six. This would burn through quite a large quantity of things, but I think I can go for it. Uh, what else? This is blue tuna. It gives six servings. This is yellow fin. I've burned through a large quantity of the actual... Yeah, I don't have now yellow fin tuna. Crap. Did not think that one through, huh? Did you, Max? Uh, Starry Eye Puffer Fish. This one is actually quite nice. The problem is the quantity would. Okay, that's five. Yeah, uh, Xena Cantus. I was only able to get one. because I know that I'm potentially running into the problem that if I like invest too heavily into uh, certain things, I just might find myself suddenly running out of the specific ingredients or just the return is not gonna be there. 
I can therapy serve the Narvol as well. The taste aspect of that dish would really give me some nice results. Okay, so we have 20, 30, 45 servings. Uh, we're looking for a perfect service though, so in order to get the uh, necessary flames, so this is gonna be a tricky one. Uh, did I try to invest into... Let's train the staff a little bit more. Even more cooking skill. Okay, interesting, interesting. Uh, these two are able to serve the customers and master drink baker so I'm really hoping he's gonna be able to pick up the slack for the cocktails but I will definitely try my best on uh, serving the customers as well a cocktail in order to learn the mechanics I can pour a decent cup of tea so this should not be a problem. Okay, I will not learn how to... What, 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 holy crap, I fucked it up. Okay, I, I'm gonna need to... Is I cannot really afford to screw up serving the cocktails. And I need to clean up that dish. Because so I'm unfortunately the only one capable of performing this. We're not getting a perfect score here tonight. I guess. Man, so many dirty dishes. We're not getting a perfect score. Man, and some of the dishes were not even ordered by the customers. That's not good, that's not good. Yeah, 4.6 is not good enough. Just got four artisanal flames and I needed five in order to get one of the additional cucumber dishes. So chances are if I will screw up even on the next night, I will just not be able to get uh, all the dishes by the time the cucumbers will uh, show up. But yeah, we have two days until that happens. I cannot believe it, but it's been like... How many days in a row that it's raining? This is absolutely incredible. Like at least the last five or so episodes it's been constantly raining so that's really interesting but yeah probably on the next episode we're going to be entering the cave so if you want to know when that will happen you know what to do hit the notification bell and if you want to see more dave the diver or other content check out the links they are in the description check out the channel there's more than just playthroughs so go check it out and i'll see you in the comments or at the next one Go! Go watch other stuff. I need the views.